Job seekers that are using Apple MacBooks are under attack from state-sponsored North Korean malware groups, stealing passwords, and more. Here's the story, and here's how to stay safe. Let's go. So, job seekers that are using Apple MacBooks are under attack from state-sponsored North Korean malware groups, stealing passwords, and more. Here is how to stay safe. So when looking for a new job, I understand it can be difficult enough process on its own, which is why landing a job interview for a new position you're interested in can feel like a big win. However, you're going to want to be extra careful during your next video interview as hackers are now using them to infect unsuspecting users with a dangerous MacBook malware strain. This time, North Korean hackers are using fake job offers hidden in updates in popular apps like Zoom and Google Chrome to invade your MacBook. Now, these North Korean hackers specifically seek you out, and when asked to go on an interview through a link, that link they send you purposely shows an error message, right? And a request to install or update some required software on your MacBook, such as Zoom or Google Chrome, as we mentioned. And it all goes downhill from there. The North Korean hackers behind this new campaign did something similar back in 2023 in a previous campaign called Contagious Interview, which used fake video conferencing software to deliver malware to prospective targets using MacBooks. This time around, they're using multiple malware strains to better evade detection. After approaching potential targets, such as yourself, on LinkedIn by posting as recruiters, these hackers try to convince them to complete a video assessment. Just like a similar campaign last year, which used fake Google Meet errors, this one uses a link to a video call that displays an error message saying that another component or additional piece of software like VCAM or camera access needs to be installed to fix the issue the victim is currently experiencing. So how does it go from fake job interview to malware infection? Hackers love to step in with a solution to a problem they've created for you, and this is a perfect example of that. So in this case, the fix involves copying and executing a malicious command in macOS through the terminal app, which is supposedly fixing the camera and microphone issue that you experience in your web browser. If a job seeker follows the directions, they end up having the JavaScript-based malware Beaver Trail installed on their computer. In this addition to stealing sensitive browser data, cookies, and funds from crypto wallets or banking apps, this malware can also deliver a Python backdoor called Invisible Ferret. Sounds weird, but they all have weird names. Now, which makes matters worse, this ferret malware establishes a presence on an infected MacBook by using a launch agent. That way, even if you turn your computer off or try to delete the malware, it does not go anywhere. Developers also need to be on the lookout for ferret malware since it's also currently being spread throughout fake issues on legitimate GitHub repositories. This is a clear sign that the North Korean hackers behind this malware now want to use it to infect even more people through multiple simultaneous campaigns. So how the hell do you stay safe while job hunting? So if you're looking for a new job for yourself, uh, look, my best piece of advice is to be extremely cautious when dealing with job advertisements, recruiters, and even HR personnel seeking you out during your search. You want to do your own homework and due diligence. Look up the people and the companies you're interacting with to make sure that they really are who they say they are. Perform a thorough Google search on the company and its location. Does that company have any reviews on Google Maps? Search the company on Glassdoor for previous employee reviews. Does your person of contact have a LinkedIn profile? If they do, check for history of the individual, right? And if that individual has any previous interactions with anyone or any company on their social media platforms, if either one or both of your research that you perform looks brand new or a profile uh, looks brand new with no history at all, 
that's a major red flag. Also, no interaction with anybody else or very little interaction is a major red flag. Double and triple check the person on the contact's email address. Make sure their email address is a real company's email address. Like if I was a recruiter at, let's just say, uh, Walmart, right? My work address should be eSimStudios at walmart.com, not eSimStudios at walmarthr.com. Remember, you can always remove the at symbol and the text to the left of that at symbol and go to that website to see if it is real. Copy and paste that, everything to the right of the at symbol. Copy that, paste it into a browser, and go see what that website looks like. Like walmart.com versus walmarthr.com. These scammers are pretty clever, but just spending a few minutes of research can save you your information and the funds in your account. I can tell you how many fake promotional emails I get from scammers pretending to want to sponsor this channel only to get caught when I do my homework and something just doesn't add up or something just doesn't look right. I probably get two to three per day. Let's say you do get contacted from somebody at Walmart in the HR department in search of employees and you're the person they contact for a certain position. See if they are telling you the truth about that position. Jump on Walmart's website or any company's website and head to the bottom. Typically, you'll see a career section. Is that position they are recruiting you for even posted online? If not, another red flag. Proceed with caution. From there, you're going to want to stick to established and trusted sites and services like Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Monster, Glassdoor, sites like that. Now, even legitimate sites like Upwork and Fiverr for freelancers is full of legitimate jobs, but has some sprinkled mix of scammers in there as well. So please be careful. No one website is perfect. Now, attending in-person job fairs is also recommended as well. I'm sure at some point in the future, there will be quote unquote bad actors at these in-person hiring events. None has been reported on as of yet. Uh, at the moment, that might be the safest place for job seekers within your very own local community. Just Google the city you are in and attach job fair, quote unquote, at the end to find any future and upcoming hiring events. If all else fails to land you a new gig, try to use your existing connections, family, friends, to see if there's any new positions or opportunities available before heading to job sites to look for work. Likewise, as enticing as they can be, it's probably best to avoid job advertisements since these days, any one of them could be a malicious ad designed to take you down a phishing site, malicious link, or one known for spreading malware. So here is the just content recap of this story. North Korean hackers are employing sophisticated phishing campaign targeting job seekers using fake job advertisements and video interviews to spread malware. The hackers pose as recruiters on platforms like LinkedIn, luring victims into participating in video assessments that contain malicious links. Now, these malicious links trigger error messages prompting the installation of seemingly necessary software, which actually installs the JavaScript base malware called Beaver Trail. Beaver Trail steals sensitive browser data and cookies, cryptocurrency wallet funds, banking credentials, and they can and will drain your accounts. Uh, it delivers a Python coded backdoor called Invisible Ferret, which establishes a presence on your infected MacBook. Invisible Ferret further compromises the system by using a quote unquote launch agent ensuring its presence even after your device restarts or you attempt to delete or remove said software. To protect yourselves, job seekers are advised to be cautious of unsolicited job offers, verify recruiter identities, utilize reputable job sites, and avoid suspicious links and attachments, and employ a robust antivirus software, and if you can, Try your local in-person job fair. Best of luck. Take care. We'll see you next time. Peace.